Good morning, Allison. Yeah, so when someone is arrested and it's clear when they come before a judge here that they that this crime stemmed from some sort of mental health crisis and they meet some other requirements, then they have the opportunity to get some therapy and some other mental health support instead of just spending more time behind bars. Now, tomorrow, a new class of 17 people will be graduating from the program, according to the state's attorney. I was a physician. Life was stressful because the work of a physician is stressful, but I was handling the stress without problems. It wasn't until I reached a point where out of the blue, with no reason, real reason, I attacked my wife and my daughter, breaking five of my wife's ribs and being arrested by the police for assault. It wasn't until then that I realized that there was something definitely wrong. Hugh Holder had gotten psychiatric help before, but hadn't realized how serious his problem was. Now, he found himself spending two days in jail. This was my first contact with the criminal justice system. So his lawyer recommended Montgomery County's mental health court, which state's attorney John McCarthy started five years ago. You want a long-term solution? Deal with the root causes. You know, whether it's drugs, alcohol, or mental health, deal with the root causes that bring people into the criminal justice system. And in the, in the long run, you not only heal an individual, but you make the community safer. In fact, the Urban Institute estimates that about half of the nation's prison and jail inmates have a mental health problem, like Holder. The most important thing about the mental health court is that it takes away, for me, some of the fear that's associated with the traditional approach. McCarthy says their recidivism rate proves that works. Theirs is only about 10 percent, compared to about 70 percent of state prisoners released in 2012, according to a Bureau of Justice report. This is a step in the right direction to doing things better. It worked for me. I'm sure it will work for others. Now, mental health court is, of course, on the back end of all this once someone is already arrested. The state's attorney said the county is also working to add some more crisis intervention teams to respond when police get that initial call in the hopes of preventing people like Mr. Holder from ending up in jail in the first place. Back to you.